Metal Coatings on 3D Prints, PLA. In this video, we're finally going to use the metal coatings on PLA. This is a 3D print on a Ender Pro 3 filament printer with PLA. This print is actually from Photos Mint, found on myminifactory.com. So shout out to Photos Mint for making awesome little bust that we can use and he makes a bunch of other stuff so check him out but here we are going to print up none other than jedi master yoda first we will start by cleaning off all the supports and any other flashing we may have then we will start with our primate black primate and we thinned it about 10 percent with distilled water as you can see we are straining it into our hvlp sprayer and this is our Harbor Freight sprayer, a 1.4 tip sprayed at about 60 pounds of pressure. And we're going to spray it right onto the filament print. There's no extra cleaning or anything. We just made sure that we've been handling it with clean hands. If you feel the need, go ahead and do a soap and water. But overall, I went straight onto the filament and it worked out just fine. I am spraying this a little heavy on the first coat, a little heavier than I wanted to. So the second coat, I actually switched over to this crown sprayer and the same 10% dilution, it just out of the crown sprayer, I seem to have a little bit more control. I just was putting too much primer on in the uh, HVLP sprayer there. So I'm able to control a little bit more here, put on just what I want. So I'm going to do two coats of this and really the prime it is just for adhesion properties in this case. The PLA is actually pretty smooth, so the metal coating stands a much better chance of adhering properly when you go to put the primate down. And once we have two coats of that down, an hour in between, we wait 24 hours and we're gonna go in with the metal coating. Here we're using that pre-valve crown sprayer and it, we're gonna use the bronze C. This is not diluted, this is just full strength and it is working absolutely beautifully. Now, if you go to spray it and it's not coming out quite as smooth or maybe it's a little on the thicker side, go ahead and dilute it. Again, 10% distilled water, but I haven't found that I need to do that. It works just fine. Just remember to strain it into the cup as well. Straining ensures that we don't have any metal particulates that are actually adhering together. Straining is always a good idea with the metal coatings and the primers. I don't find that the mesh paint sprainers work very well. I gotta use that kitchen strainer and that has always worked very well for me. So, two coats of metal coating on this. Now we're going with our patina. I did original blue and then I went in with Tiffany green. Now what that does is it gives me a little bit more of a bluish green. Tiffany green typically will go a bluish green, but this is the middle of June when I'm doing it. It's very hot in San Diego. So I don't have as much reaction time as if I was doing this in December when it's raining. The higher humidity and overall the longer the metal coating can stay wet, the better reaction I will get. So I'm going to use the original blue and then tone it down by putting more Tiffany over the top. The blue kind of helps as an addition, but that Tiffany green will be more prominent. So if you want more of a blue with some green, then you can try doing Tiffany green and then original blue. And this is things that you just need to kind of workshop and, and play with and dial in for you, but it does give you more options. You can see I ran off the excess patina. That's the big thing is making sure that you run off excess. And on this bust, it's not as prominent, but if I were to say lay it down, we would really be concerned with the excess of patina going into the ears, basically anywhere it can sit and hold on to. You run the risk of not getting a very good reaction because it can't get to the oxygen in the air. Here we're just doing a little bit of a time lapse so you can see as time goes on through the day. Overnight, it takes about the full reaction time, so don't be surprised if it continues to change even into hour five, hour six. Again, the more humid, the longer that metal coating can stay wet, the longer the reaction takes place, the more vibrant of a reaction you will get. So I never do anything sooner than next day, and sometimes I'll even go back in and add a little bit of patina 
When you get about halfway through the process, it doesn't add a whole lot, but there is a chance that you can actually get a, a, a place that dried out to kick off just enough that we can blend it in rather than having a stark bronze area. Right, so you, that's the last thing that I want is to have it basically all looking great except I missed a shoulder, oh no. Um, so sometimes I'll go in and touch that up if I feel like I really need to. Overall, it usually doesn't help 100%. I'm just trying to blend it in best I can. So here is next day. You can see we've got a great kind of bluish green look. Not perfect for Master Yoda, but perfect for a bronze sculpture, I think. So seeing that we did the C version of the metal coatings, that means we can burnish a little bit. And everyone's got their feelings on this. Some people like it with all the patina it can get, and some people like just a little bit of patina, but I want to show it off. So we're going to burnish it back quite a bit. We're going to show some of that bronze coming through. And as a general rule, if you haven't seen some of our other metal coating videos, the C you can polish the B you cannot so that's the main difference there if you want to polish and bring out some of that bronze then you want to go with the C it has more metal and that's the main difference there now I like to do a little bit of both I want to relieve a little bit and this is 4 aught steel wool so I'm showing through you can see some of that bronze coming through and then I'm actually gonna go and, and do some other highlighting tools and techniques afterwards as well so this is just a fun way to get some of the bronze coming through. It's nice and easy. All it takes is time and a little bit of effort and it the green patina just comes off pretty easily. Here we have the bronze metal rub. Now the metal rub is essentially a metallic paste and this is what I do a lot of the times on my metal coatings to get really bright colors out without having to polish a lot with steel wool. Also, the more you want to polish, the more coats of metal coating you actually need to do. So this is an easy way to not have to spend a bunch of time sanding because nobody really enjoys that part of 3D printing. But also, you can just kind of rub it on with a rag or a brush and you'll see me doing a couple of those little different techniques but it just allows us to pop it up just a little bit more get a little bit more vibrance out of it and overall I find it so much easier than just spending so much time sanding with 2 watt or 3 watt or 4 watt steel wool so that's an easy add-on and it works great on these 3d prints as well now green patinas and blue patinas typically will be more kind of powdery and so I want to protect that. And I'm going to do this combination of brown and clear wax. The main reason why I'm doing that is to one, seal in that green patina with it so it doesn't come off when I touch it, right? I'm going to move it around and show people and I don't want it to worry about some of that patina coming off. And I also want to deepen it a little bit. It came out a little bit more vibrant than I wanted. And I really want that bronze to kind of have a little bit darkness more on the robes and just overall give it a little bit of a, a more homey feel. So I'm going to use the brown with the clear in order to get essentially a more transparent brown. So it's just a matter of mixing it in really well. We're just applying this metal wax with a microfiber towel, just kind of rubbing it on, trying to get those bronze areas to look a little bit more on the aged sides rather than fresh cast bronze. And really, this is just adding details to a piece. But the metal coating system and all the other products used here are great ways to add realism and that real metal look to 3D prints. But here is our final Master Yoda sculpture done by Photos Mint with the metal coating systems and a few extra goodies. Prime it, metal coatings, original blue, Tiffany green, metal rubs, and metal wax are all available at www.sculptnouveau.com.